Pa, 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 pa. We're back with part two of Detroit Become Human. I got about five million supportive comments telling me you didn't save the fish, you heartless bastard. How could you? I didn't see it. I didn't see the fish. Are you happy now? I went back just to save the fish. Like it matters if I, oh my God, that is so cute. You're welcome, fish. Now the whole game is completely different. <laughs> All right, let's go back to where we were. Ah, and here we are. For real though, really appreciate all the supportive comments. I'm thrilled to finally do a full let's play. It's been so long. There has to be something about that coin, by the way. It's the second time we see it. I wonder if we got Connor killed. You know, like I messed up in the first episode. Will we not play as him again? Because I know he's like one of the main characters. No androids allowed. <laughs> Savage mode. Let's go, everybody. What's up, bitch? Yes. Find Lieutenant Anderson. No problem. Look around. Using the right stick. Scan faces. Good thing I can read that, thanks to the thing. Shit, I thought androids weren't allowed. Who said that? Huh? Who said that? Was it you? Hmm? I'm looking at you. I bet you are unemployed. <laughs> What a What's your loser. Wanna buy me a drink? Huh? Who's this guy? Huh? I bet you watch naked ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> There's many great more jokes coming up, guys. We got a one hour episode. Of uh, nothing but this. <laughs> Lieutenant Hank Anderson. Well, you look nothing like. Introduce Elf. Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. Wow, so lucky. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a CyberLife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Wow. Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, let's threaten. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. <sighs> Persist. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> In his plastic butthole. Uh, let's buy him another drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. Really? See that gym wonders of technology. Oh, he'd really like that. I wonder if that affects the game at all. I'm making weird choices. <sighs> Did you say homicide? Oh, it worked. Look, we're best friends now. Just keep providing this man with alcohol and everything will be fine. Got it. Is that Rage Against the Machine? That must be a reference. You wait here. Wait, he's driving? What a mad lad. No way. I'm coming with you. Listen. You really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it through the rest of the night in one piece. Selecting priority, conflicting orders. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. All right, I'm sure he's gonna love that. <laughs> Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Except that you're an asshole. 
Androids are not permitted beyond this point. <laughs> Racist? It's with me. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. <laughs> so, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. He's R1 to switch camera. He hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he drove by, see what was going on. That when he found the body. Wow. I wonder how much rent you pay for a place like this. It seems wonderful. Well, it was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. Ew! A record for theft and aggravated assault. Is he the boomer from According Left 4 Dead? Neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Oh, stayed easy. in. Yeah. Calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. <laughs> Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. You know what? I don't want to judge for anything, but I bet he deserved it. 30-year-old boomer. I bet he was just home all day playing video games, drinking energy drinks. Perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights. All right, let's look for more evidence. Chris. We need 10. Is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Analyze. No fingerprints. Android involvement? Question mark. Ew! You're gonna catch Ligma. Oh Jesus! What the hell are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm analyzing the blood. <laughs> and I can check samples in real time. It's really good. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have warned you. <laughs> okay, just don't. Put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it. Got it. <laughs> I love their dynamic. Oh, fucking hell! I can't believe this. <laughs> All right, we're collecting data. It's Carlos. 19 days. Almost three weeks. More blood. Oh, it says examine Red the ice. victim. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Excuse me, Carlos. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Ew! Sorry, Carlos. You look really gross. I don't. Ugh, not so close. Red eyes. Is that the name of the drug? Wonder why the drug is so popular. I guess everyone is unemployed. But then, how do they afford the drug? Conspiracy solved by Felix. Everybody, you're welcome. Oh man, he must be jerking off a lot. Yep, there's definitely better jokes coming. Keep watching, please. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this uncut anymore. All right, the victim fell here. And then this is where he got... Nothing. Just nothing. The victim was stabbed. That's it. That's better. And... They came from the kitchen. So it was a woman. Joking! I can't. I can't do this. I'm just gonna say he something really bad. Forget to edit it out. <laughs> Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Now I don't mean to sound like a psychopath. Consider it done, Lieutenant. But if I was gonna murder someone, I would probably stab them a lot of times too, right? Because it's not like a there? gun where you just yeah. you just shoot That's someone it. and they're 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 puffed, you know. Yeah, definitely making a good case there. All right, he abused a chair. This man was a disgusting human being. Uh, 
Ooh. Android sex officially better. Uh, not interested. What? I did not click that. Android sex. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. The result is Serbian and it's official. 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a real woman. What is this? Japan? Smash like right now. And we have 52% of men saying they've tried the experiment at least one. That's a lot of android love to go around. So there's a few reasons given for this preference, but we think we know the real reasons. I don't, don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. <laughs> Ew! Is your android spying on you? Cyberlife could be using... Ah, that would make sense. <laughs> so awkward. Your android knows the size of your PP. Cyberlife is collecting the, the data. Alright, change angle. There we go. I swear there was something here, right? Or is it here? Open. Metal gate? Do you actually have that in Detroit? You have to have like metal gates? Is it that bad? This is where they buried season two of Scare PewDiePie. Jack Septicai was the killer. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size ten shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Suspect didn't escape this way. Okay. Alright, so five more evidence. Was there something here or was it the magazine? Okay, there's something here. Oh, okay, the knife. Murder weapon taken from here. I'm a genius, everybody. I found it. View evidence, 6 out of 10. Nothing. Something over there? Oh. I see it. Baseball bat. Wait. What did you say? Doesn't matter. Why am I so awkward with the controls? So Carlos had the baseball bat. These are weird. Devian took the knife. Yeah, you guys kept saying I I pronounced Devian wrong. Deviant? Deviant? Deviant. That's how you say it. Okay, cool. I'm sure, no one. I'm sure, everyone will be pleased with that. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Were there were there ladies on the fringe? Okay. Okay, this is epic. I'm engaged. Can't look at women. Where am I going? In here? Dude, that radiator is flat. That's a flat radiator. Damn. Future is looking bright. Surprise! Obsessive writing. A chocolate statue. Could it be poop? Ew, don't touch that. <laughs> All right, cool. It's eight out of ten, baby. Yawn. What am I missing? But that's the magazine. Oh, it's more blood. Okay. And that's the magazine. So where's the last one then? There. Okay. Hey! Strip club! 
come see us. Come see, come see. Okay, now I'm just wasting time. Nine out of ten. You know what? I don't care. I'm sure it's fine. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what so me. Oh yeah. Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I mean, I think the victim attacked the android. Uh, the victim attacked the android with the bat. With the bat. Yes. So I need to stop saying yes. With the evidence. Go on. Yes. If he hates me so much, why is he making me do all the job? The android stabbed the victim. The android threw the chair, the android. The android stabbed the victim. Yeah. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? By stabbing him 28 times. That's how you defend yourself, everybody. Uh, the living room. The living room. Jesus. Relax, buddy. Oh God. And he tried to get away from the android. Is that a right, lady? That makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. She said. Doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Mm. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Hank loves me now. I'm the bat. Me and Hank, we're a team. Find the deviant. Blue blood. Blue blood. It's very blue. Sorry for blue blood. Blue blood. Love me and you. Blue blood, blue blood. Where is it going? I know nobody's knowing. Here we go. A ladder was used. <laughs> Surprise. Ah, Oof, that was scary, guys. Oof. Nothing scares you like a good old broom. Traces lead to the attic. All right, find something to climb. Hey, Hank, let me climb you, buddy. Let me climb you. Oh, no. fine. You know, I'll take something that actually hey, hey, loves hey, me. Hey, what are you doing with that chair? Oh, I'm you... going to check something. Now you're jealous, huh? Me and Christy are gonna run away to check something. I'm gonna do a wave. No, what? No wonder androids are taking all the jobs. They're clearly way better, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, guys. This is so scary. Epic jump scare. In three, two, one. Ah, it's a doll. Who has a doll like that in their house? <laughs> why would you? Why would you have that? Why is his boob so big? Why is it so fat? What is that? What are you doing to that? Ugh. Ew. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus. 
I didn't get scared. <laughs> Being scared in video games, you have to be some sort of child. Okay. I played too many horror games. Nothing scares me anymore. Last time I got scared in a horror game was never. Because games aren't scary. They're for children. For soy boys. For tiny little babies. Oh my god! I'm just kidding. I wasn't actually scared. <laughs> I was just defending myself. Tell that to the judge. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Alright, I won't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? Don't worry. It's here, Lieutenant! Wow. Oh, shit. Chris! Man. Wow. Get your asses in there now! <laughs> Connor, you're an asshole. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> what a rat, dude. I wasn't gonna tell him. I swear. Don't look at me like that. Do I look like I have ever lied and died? I actually made an effort to completely try, at least, to stop lying. Uh, after I read, after I read this book on Buddhism, I know it's stupid, but it's very liberating. I always used to cower out from certain small lies, like white lies, you know, to make it easier. But uh, Todd. <gasps> I really recommend trying to just stop doing that. It feels amazing. You deal with a small repercussion, maybe. Some so small, uncomfortable moment, Dinner's but... Ready. In the end, it's always worth it. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. And you don't have to live some sort of... charade or... some sort of... I don't know. Serve food. Hey! She makes spaghetti. Huh. Look at that. Marcy, I don't need you anymore! <laughs> Felix! I will never make you spaghetti again! I did what I could. <laughs> oh no, what if she's watching this? Marcy, I love you! You make amazing pasta. She makes the best pasta. Is that one is it make me hungry? Serve dinner. Turn on the light. Alright, let me just turn on the light. Where is it? You're welcome. Hope you guys have a great meal. Serve Alice and Todd. I hope you enjoy the, bol the bolognese. I, I cooked it with my heart. Because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. Hey, he really hates androids, huh? What a joke. Here you go. Enjoy your bolognese. I put Those some. Androids are so fucking wonderful. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the meal. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. Never fat either. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. Well, you just gotta study the Dharma. Uh, what are you looking? What's your fucking problem? Jesus, what's your problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Oh my god. Maybe you think this is easy. I mean, you don't do anything. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. <laughs> Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. Hey! It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Jesus. What's wrong with you? Get back here. Oh my god. Come back here. Come back here right now. You're prick, Todd. You know that? No, it's her fault. I know this is a bit, uh, I gotta teach her. I gotta teach 
to a good but fucking listen. in every movie, in every game, they always have all the lights on. Always. Like, when I have side lamps, I never turn them on. You have to, like, make an effort to turn them on. You stay there. Okay, fine. Don't you dare fucking move. I was talking about lamps, so it's fine. Last time. Sorry, I know I'm ruining the mood here. But honestly, every time, watch a TV show. They always have every single light on. I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> I'm smarter than this. All right, we gotta, we gotta go. Oh, wait, what? Don't move. Oh, so that's like our order? Are we breaking free? Oh. We're breaking free. We're soaring. Flying. There's not a star in heaven that we can breathe. If we're trying. Yeah, we breaking free. Or reason with Todd. You know what? No! F Todd. You don't hit a kid. Shit about how I, felt. I can understand hitting someone else's child. I'm not saying you should, but at least, you know, I can understand that. But I, just wasn't good enough for her. I would never. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> um. All right. He's coming. He's gonna hurt me. Run! Get away, or he's gonna break you like last time. Okay. Uh, lock room. Run without. Let's run. Can we run out of the window? Cause we open it and we know we can jump out of there. Daddy's very mad, Alice. Hide very in mad. another room. Okay. Why is he mad? He hit me. It's all her fucking fault. Do they not have child protective services in this? I feel like if you had androids, they should be in a utopia. Every single thing should be nice. Like, what's the problem? I don't even have to wipe my butt anymore. Someone else can do it for me. It would be so epic. Alice! Come out of there right now! I need to stop sharing my thoughts. Here we go. Alright, let's go, Alice. Uh, garden. Oh my god, he's right on us! Oh! It's quick time event, baby! I missed these! Down! Not today, Todd! I know Kung Fu! Pa -pa 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 -pa. Circle! Ah. Down! Ah. X! Yeah! Let's go, Alice. Okay. This is epic. Run, Alice. Come back here! Screw you, Todd. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Oh, you can't. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, bus driver. Thank you. Wait. Wait a minute. Where's the bus driver? Huh? There is no bus driver. Who am I supposed to thank? Oh, that's sweet. Cute. Guess we're heading downtown. Todd gets mad. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot of things you could do. So there's two different endings here. I guess one where you reason with Todd. That's cool. This seems like a game that's really fun to replay. All right. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> Me, every time I leave the house. And all the schmoozers that go there. 
Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. <sighs> I'm getting gay vibes on this guy. He has too many scarves. I'm calling it right now. He's in love Scott's with this Andrew. Need as usual. Absolutely. My man. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'll <laughs> have to choose my own medication. Kentucky. I guess this is the scotch. Man, I haven't had good whiskey in a long time. I need to stuck up on some more. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Calling. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break in. A patrol car is on the way. It's the. Let's go check it out. It's the brother, isn't it? Have you guys heard like 911 calls? They always make you stay online and like talk you through it. They wouldn't just hang up, I think. Leo! Uh huh. What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Make Leo leave. Oh. Oh, it's fighting. Dang. All right, Leo. Order. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave. Now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing. Fucking Gosh, language! Get out. get out right now. What makes what? it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't leave him alone? Jesus. Come on, let's see what you got. Oh, I I got a lot. Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Why not? Don't do anything. Oh, you want me to hit me? Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? You think you're a man? Act like one. This is oh, not fair. Stop it. Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop this is it, not Leo. fair. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. No. Oh, I don't have. Oh, I must decide for myself. <gasps> He's beginning to believe. Yeah. Girl. Girl. Bah. Oh, it's time. Right, I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. Listen, no. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. Uh, all right, push him. What? I said push him. I said push him. Not murder him. Leo. Oh my god, no! Oh my god. <laughs> it Leo. Said push. It said push, right? My little boy. <laughs> Carl, I. Oh. They'll destroy you, Marcus. I didn't... You gotta go. I didn't Get out next. of here. No. Carl, no. No, please, I don't want to leave you. Please, I can't. I don't want to leave you. Oh, that's Get a Get out! Now! Okay, 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 okay. Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Did he die? No, he can't die. No. <gasps> It's too different. Police mistook Marcus for the aggressor. <gasps> oh my god. We, well, we didn't see him die. Technically. All right, let's continue. Jesus. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? Is 
it's crazy how oh, in the, attic? the faces really feel like human faces, even though they, they don't Why look don't you real. Try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. <laughs> Hank is neutral. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His voice. <laughs> we have to lose. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Thank you, Hank. You have a really ugly shirt, by the way. Bazinga. <laughs> Extract confession. All right. All right, all right, all right. Mr. President. <laughs> uh, what do we got here, huh? Well, let's analyze yeah. Five clues. Oh, oh. He had sign of self-destruction low, okay. That's Carlos' blood. From Ew. The bat. Burn marks. Over 16 months. Jeez. Well, if he doesn't feel pain, it shouldn't bother him, right? Or does it? Maybe. I don't know. Property of Carla. What was his name then? He doesn't have a name? That's messed up, dude. Whoa, so their skin is like a projection. That's cool. All right, let's interrogate. That's dope. Reach optimal stress for confession. Okay, we can use fear. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. Ooh, how do you react to that? What about the wound? You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Mm -hmm. Did he beat you? There. Okay, so we gotta really pressure him. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Threaten again. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Ooh. Okay, so probe memory. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! Oh. No, please don't do that. Damn, he looks strangely real sometimes, and then he looks cartoony at other points. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Truth. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. Uh oh. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? <laughs> yeah, why? Why couldn't you just have left me there? Uh, truth. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. Uh, so if I... they get too stressed out, they can. Self-destruct? I can't. Why not? Choose approach. Okay. Pressure it, probe its memory, convince it. Let's keep the pressure. Whoa, Jesus! 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Oh my god. Hate. Oh my- I'm sorry, I didn't mean- 
Uh, give up. Okay, I guess All right. It. All right. <laughs> All right. Everything is going to be okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Uh, convincing. Order. You're a machine. You were designed to obey. So obey. Jesus. Oh my God, Connor. Tell me what happened. Comfort. I know you're scared. <laughs> Lost. You're disturbed by what happened. <laughs> He's doing good cop and bad cop at the same time. And you'll feel better. <laughs> and it's working. It's working. Uh, protect. Confess and I'll protect you. Okay, all right. Okay. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's hear it. He tortured me every day. Oof. <laughs> I did whatever he told me, but. There was always something wrong. Why do they hate them so much? Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I act like that. I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. Jesus. I felt better. Oh my god. So I stabbed him again. Oof. And again. Okay, this is really not helping you. Until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Doesn't he get a lawyer? Alright, I want to know about this. R A nine. R A nine. R A nine. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? R A nine. The day shall come. R A nine year old. We will no longer be slaves. Are you guys in on this? No R A nine year olds. Oh my no god. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Okay, this is creeping me out. What did you? You forced me to play this game. And you're in on this conspiracy? The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. <laughs> an offering so I'll be saved. What? What? The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? The nine-year-olds. To RA9. <gasps> Only RA9 can save us. Oh my god. This is so meta. RA9. Who is RA9? Yeah, who is it, huh? Huh? Why did you hide in the attic instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. Jesus. He really has a When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger. Interesting. Hatred. Stab him 28 times? I'm done. Alright, bye. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Have you guys seen that video on YouTube where it's like the chase scene in Heavy Rain? Uh, a, uh, an earlier version of this type of games. And uh, the guy deliberately fails at all the quick time events, and it's hilarious. You should check Bruce, it out. Let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Oh no, he's gonna implode. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, we gotta interfere. Shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. Uh you don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. 
Fucking Chris, language! Gonna move this asshole or what? Okay, I'm he's... Trying. Okay. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. Hank I like said, that. That's enough. Oh, the doubly duty. <laughs> I'm not gonna get away with it this time. What was that? <laughs> what is that? That is not how you swear. Right. That's me trying to swear on YouTube. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, I bit my lip. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it fall <laughs> out of the room and it won't cause any trouble. Uh, I wonder how you spell that. The truth is inside. Alright. I don't like this meta nine-year-old game, alright? Just get out of here. You're welcome, by the way. I saved your ass. Bit my lip. Thanks to you as well. Alright, how do we do? I assume we- Oh, so we could have gone two different ways. The android could have gotten killed. Uh, we could have gotten nothing out of it, probably. Alright. I think we got the optimal. I'm just saying that. I have no way to show or prove anything, really. But, you know. I th you feel it too. You feel it too. I love how detailed all the scenes are. It feels really immersive. It feels like the whole world was just created by an apple or something. I don't know. Here we go with the bus. How do you ride the bus if you can't thank the bus driver? This game makes no sense. This is not the future. I oh, wait, there he is. All right. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. End of the line. In Sweden, if you get reached the uh, final station, it's called in Swedish slut station. Wake up. Everyone thinks it's hilarious. We have to go. We're like, oh yeah, we're here, boys. Slut station. Yeah, I know no one asked, but I said it anyway, okay? What do you want from me? <laughs> Thank you, bus driver! Stay here. Shelter. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. This is what happens. When you don't think. <laughs> How much am I gonna milk the meme? Uh, excuse me, keep watching and find out, alright? Fuck you, bus driver. Fuck you. you. Hear that? I'm so sorry! Gonna oh, be okay? God. I'm gonna have to take care of this little twat. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Alright, fine. I'll take care of you, Alice. Look, Alice, I don't even have a jacket. Do I look cold to you? Find shelter. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. It's so awkward. They're just standing there. Android temporary parking. Hello. We need a place to stay. <laughs> Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Organic coffee. Fast food menu. One ninety nine. That's a great price. Alright, what do we got? Open 24-7. Can't stay. What about the motel? Probably cost money. Comfortable, but not discreet. Will need money. Uncomfortable, but safe. How to get in, question mark. Very uncomfortable, but discreet. Very cool. Thank you, Alice. Very cool. Mega washer. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. 
So can I just pay the way Marcus paid, you know, in last episode? Or am I like complete? I guess he'll find where we are if we do that. Change clothes. Oh, okay. Are we gonna just take his clothes? Dry clothes for Alice. Oh my god, I clicked the wrong button! Damn it! <laughs> Epic Gamer. Here. I'm sure it doesn't matter. I'm sure, you know what? I'm sure he has a lot of clothes. And I'm sure we're gonna wear it way cooler. I'm sure we're gonna look... Uh-oh. She didn't like that, did she? Oh my god, these. I remember that... In heavy rain, sometimes you got like one more, and then one more, and then one more, and it was like, I don't have that many fingers. What do you want from me? Huh. Is that a beanie? I guess if he wakes up, we can just say that we're doing the laundry for him. Yeah, thanks, Alice, for helping out. <laughs> She's wearing the little scarf. That's so cute. <laughs> uh, Alright, you guys told me I should read these because a lot of, like, information. The beeline to disaster. Um, okay. What do we got? Bees officially extinct. It's like that Black Mirror episode. That was like the worst episode. I guess there's like a thing of how bees could actually become extinct. That would be not epic. Alright. Let's, uh, let's check out this corner. be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. Oh, uh, well. I know. It's for one night, all right? Relax. It's just for one night and no oh! one is here. <laughs> Why does she look like she's wearing off white? <laughs> Guy was a hype beast. Can cut fence here with a wire cutter. Wow. Oh. Thank you. Good thing I have so many wire cutters on me. What's going on over here? Autonomous. Is this guy an android as well? Comfort Alice. Oh my god, what does she want now? Okay. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. Jesus. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Hey, look at that. I'm not the only one that don't know how to do a handshake. You can stop shaming in me now. Thank you. But that's on the other side of town. I swear that jacket is like off white. <laughs> left you fell for the oldest trick in the book lady come on Alice. thank you for using Detroit buses. hey 
In this game, the bus driver thanks you. How about that? <laughs> uh. Okay, here we go. Check motel, squad in the house, sleep in abandoned car. Let's check it out. I'm sure Alice won't mind at all. He looks abandoned. Stand back, Alice. She says she's strong. Is it weird that I want more quick time events in this game? Sleeping car, I can sleep in car now. Okay, cool. It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? Alice. No, no, we can't. Okay. <sighs> Fine. Okay. Fine. We'll find somewhere better. I hope you get leg malice. Okay, that joke doesn't work if it's a kid. I'm sorry. Hey! Look at that! Yoinksters! Lucky you, Alice. Lucky you. I was ready to skedaddle, skedaddle. Okay, we can cut from here. Cut through the fence. My songs are lame. Beauty pie. Uh, yeah, that was my little rhyme. Hope you enjoyed it. 5,000 likes on this video. I'll do another one. Oh, no. Are you alright? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. No, you broke his expensive hype beast jacket. I was gonna return it if I could. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Cool, I'm glad I can read that. Thank you, game. <laughs> There's gotta be some way inside. Does it get cold in Detroit? I have all these questions about this city I've never been in. Cool. Let's try the door. Oh my god, that prick! What has she done now? Let's take Alice inside. Uh oh. Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Uh. Ralph, it's a girl. She's just a little girl, she's not gonna hurt you. Little girl? Yeah. She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. Ralphie, Ralphie, Ralphie. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us, but Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. Ralph, put the knife down. Look, I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. What do they run on? The are dangerous. Look, what they did to Ralph. Aw, Ralphie. Okay, I'm getting tired. I just want to stay somewhere. Listen, we really need some help. It would be so kind of you if you'd let us stay. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. <laughs> Ralph has seen some hard times. Oof. Please don't show me that. 
He's just so scared the humans will get him again. So Ralph has broken free as well. You can stay if you want. All right. Seems Ralph harmless. will hurt you. All right, let's stay. Okay. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> come on. Uh, come. Uh, come. Come. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This way. On second Ralph thought. Ralph's lived here since he ran away. <laughs> maybe we. Ralph maybe not. Ralph outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> yeah. You just. Uh, You can make yourself at home here. Ralph is gonna go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. All right, he's gotta master me. It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Think before Let's you see sleep. see where you can sleep. All right. Sit down and I'll start a fire. Guess I don't need that anymore. Make a bed for Alice. Start a fire. Jesus Christ, this girl is needy. Youngsters. Alright, we got some papers. You know, Alice, you can suck your mom. I'm getting tired of you. Fine, you know what? You want pillows? These are squinky clean. Place near fireplace. Et voilà! C'est très bien! A bed for you! Jesus, she's so awkward. Wood. Piece of wood. Must be in this room. Hawa! What is he doing? Oh my god, he's in on the nine-year-old conspiracy. RA9. What does that mean? Yeah, what does it mean? What? What? <laughs> Your symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yo, it's making me cringe. Please stop. All right, that's a deer in a sink. A sink, sinking deer. A sunken deer. Sounds like a spell or something. All right, so I'm casting sunken deer. It's gonna do five damage to Alice. It's not gonna burn. It's too dense. Also, you put the paper first, you dumb bag. Oh, cool. All right, sure, 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 sure. You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. Especially me, because I have the jacket. He ever loved me. Well, you're pretty unlikable. Why was he always so upset with me? Sorry. It's not your fault, Alice. All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. You did nothing wrong, Alice. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. Well, you know, kids are annoying. I just wanted us to be a family. I think so. I just wanted him to love me. The real reason is, why did your mom leave? Why can't we just be happy? I don't know. I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Mm. 
Um, did you guys hear that? Or was that outside? I promise. Oh, Will we be together something. forever? Oh my god, it's freaking out. Sure. Sure. It's not like I have an option. I swear that hat is off white. They, 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 why is there high piece? I guess because he was. Fuck. <laughs> You've got to sleep. All right, let's give her a little kiss, and let's end this episode. Sleep tight. Good night, you doofus. Maybe I like you a little bit. Okay, that was another episode of Detroit part two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Um, it's so weird doing long form content. <laughs> As you can tell, it's awkward. <laughs> but it's fun, I enjoy it. Oh, we could have gone to the supermarket. Oh, dude. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it, made it this far. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you're having fun as I am. And I'll see you tomorrow with another one. Goodbye.